Race 10, still here at Chepstow. We've got the 2 mile 4 ISF Novice Chase. Five year olds and up to number one, Harry Potter's toothbrush for Stu Gray. Mr. Del for Del Hinton is two. Mahomany Gate for Jim Murray is three. Jeez Buzz Dream for Go Sapper is four. Lady Steve for Martin Leadham is five. Love Adorned for Pontypool Racing is six. Paul Pertas for Tam King is seven. And the Black Lash for Joshua Sutherland is eight. Just eight of them here to challenge this little novice chase here at Chip Stu. And we've got a front running Go Sapper horse. In G. Jesper's dream has already got four links on the remainder, which had just been led by Labrador, the Black Lass, and Paul Pertus in Harmony Gate. A length or so back to Harry Potter's toothbrush. Mr. Dell has got nowhere to go, and Lady Stevie, and they're all over the first of the 16. They have to jump straight into the second, very small ditch. Everybody's over it, but we're being led by Jesper's dream. Black Lass is in the second on his own. We've got Love Adorned up against the fence. Oh, on a poor jump by the leader there. It's how his lead came to. Took a right dive at it. Just leads by two now from the Black Lass. Mr. Dell's found some room. Got his, got himself out into third. We get over the fourth. This time the second place, the Black Lass, was a little bit slow over it. But it's Jesper's dream that leads by about three to four to the Black Lass of Mr. Dell. Over the water. Surprised nobody fell there. One nearest to us out wide here is Lady Stevie in the purple silks. Inside of that is Harry Potter's toothbrush. And then the pink silks of Mr. Dell, but the other two against the fence are Love Adorned and Poor Pertus. So we go past the winning post. A circuit left to go. Another 11 fences to jump. It's Jesper's dream. Right about four to the Black Mass and Harmony Gate together. Half legs back to Mr. Dell. Love adorned Harry Potter's toothbrush, the grey Porpertas. Just on the reel is Lady Stevie. So with a mile and a half left to go, it's Jesper's dream. Leads them into the six. Going to it quite tight, over it comfortably. Black Lass in second, Love and Dawn's third, Mr. Dell four, Harmony Gate five, Harry Potter's toothbrush six, Paul Portis is seven, and Lady Stevie is eight. There's not really been much change in the order. They get to the seventh, everybody's over that, haven't lost anybody yet. And we're still being led by Jesper's dream. Gets to the eighth first, gets over it, slow jump in the rear there by the Black Lass. Uh, everyone's quite happy with their positioning. That's Jesper's dream. Still. I'm not sure if uh, John Morgan likes front runners because uh, his name of his horse gets mentioned more on the commentary. It's got nothing to do with having front running horses. It's just he wants his horse called all the time. <laughs> so, inside the mile now. As Jesper's dream still leading by about three to the black glass. Poor Pertus has made up some ground. The other grey. The length back to Mr. Dell. Harry Potter's toothbrush under a bit of pressure out wide. And they're followed through by Harmony Gate, Lover Dawn and Lady Stevie, who's been at the back all the way round and obviously determined to hang on to that position. And it's Jesper's dream. Now by just two to the black glass being joined by Poor Pertus. And it's Paul Pertus that's uh, going to come up and challenge at Jesper's Dream as they get to the 11th. But a very slow jump by him. Didn't do himself any favours. Neither did Harmony Gate, who's taken over Lady Stevie's last position. And it's Jesper's Dream still, though, by two to Paul Pertus and the Black Mass. Mr. Dell on the wide outside being pushed along. Harry Potter's toothbrush got a lot to do from there, as well as Love Dawn, Lady Stevie, and Harmony Gate after that last jump. It's just bouncing around at the back. He's got four furlongs and he's got to find 20 lengths. So it's Jesper's Dream now into the 13th. A slow jump has allowed Paul Pertus. And we've lost a couple there. Harry Potter's toothbrush was a fall. A Love Dawn's been unseated his rider. So it's Jesper's Dream still up front. So it's Grey from. Gray from Gray, Popertus in second. The one that's moved really well on the outside is Mr. Dell with two and a half furlongs left to run and two to jump. And it's Jesper's Dream and Popertus. They get to the 15th almost together and there's only half a length in it now. The other horse that's doing really well is the Black Lass. Mr. Dell's got nothing left. So up front is Jesper's Dream being challenged now by Popertus inside a furlong and a half. They're over the last together. It was the water. Popertus leads by about two lengths.
lengths here. Here comes the Black Lass. Jesper's dream might have been there at the beginning, but it's not there anymore. And it's Porpertus that leads. Porpertus inside the final half of Furlong. The Black Lass trying to catch back, but he's not going to catch him. Porpertus is going to take this one from the Black Lass in second. Long-time leader Jesper's dream is third. Mr. Dell gets up for fourth. Fifth was Harmony Gate. I think Lady Stevie was still... Oh, no, Lover Daunt was unseated anyway. Poor Persis takes that for Tam King. Well done. Second was the Black Lass with Joshua Sutherland. Third was Jesper's Dream for Ghost Fourth was Mr. Del for Del Hinton. And fifth was Harmony Gate for Jim Murray.